Salutations, I'm Rob Chappers and welcome to Chappers TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the amazing fuzz Rocious Feed Me. This pedal was a present to me from Matt and Rabia. Thank you so much, guys. Um, it's really, really interesting. There's so much that you can do with it. I mean, in fact, there are over 20,000 configurations of this pedal. Let me show you. Each of these switches either switches on or disables or reroutes differently um, capacitors and resistors for high and low pass filters. So it's basically an EQ pedal with a boost and a tone. And it switches on these different filters for high and low pass. So you get loads of wicked kind of fuzzy tones or um, interesting squealy country tones or just kind of tones. It's a tone machine. And um, it's really, really fascinating because essentially what it is, I suppose, is like an EQ pedal, but very, very different. Reminds me a lot of some of the tones I got from a guitar years ago that I demoed from PV. It was a really odd kind of T-type um, with, with a much smaller version of, of a selection of clusters and resistors inside. But it did something really fascinating um, with the tones. And I love this. I'm really glad they got me this and not like a distortion pedal or something because, I mean, I think this would fit with any rig and you're going to find amidst the myriad smorgasbord of settings on this pedal, something that's going to work for your rig. So I set this two different ways. Um, I've got it with a really thick kind of pushing the front end of, a, of a, an RD1, so pushing the preamp valves, kind of thick and low, chunky, kind of fuzzy tone. Um, and I'm, I'm backing off the tone, whacking the, the valves with, with, the, with the preamp, and then I'm, I'm setting this, so I've got loads of, of like squeaky high end going through it, like that. And, and then, um, so that's two different settings. So, one the high end, one the low end setting. And I thought, you know what, I can't possibly do this justice in this little room here with uh, my son sleeping and uh, my wife trying to get some rest. So I uh, took myself to Brighton Electric, which is uh, the best rehearsal room in the Brighton area. And if you live anywhere near Brighton, I reckon you should go check it out. They've got a bar, coffee, sandwiches, uh, very friendly people. And uh, of all people, Hannah Bolton works there too, which is nice. Always good to see a familiar face. So I went down there, got an hour, which was really too short. She got two hours. Uh, bundled in with the help of Sylvia and Hannah and um, whacked this through an amp very loud. And this was the result. Oh hey, I'm just helping Rob to set up a room to review Fuzzrocious Feed Me. <laughs> this is my first time at Brighton Electric and it's really nice. It they nice. have rooms where you can play music. They have electricity, which is important, obviously. I love Brighton Electric. It contains both things I need. It's in Brighton and it's electric. It has coffee. They have oat milk too, which is nice. So Hannah, you work at Brighton Electric. What is it like working at Brighton Electric? It's ace. Yeah, it's good. Learned a lot. Uh, everyone who works here is super sound. Uh, and they make super sounds. And they make hey. super sounds. <laughs> mega quick recording session. I had one hour of Brighton Electric. It's taken me about 25 minutes to set up with the help of Hannah and Sylvia. Thank you very much, chicks. And um, let's get some tones going on. Get some tones! Without the Feed Me, this is my regular, crunchy, RD1 tone. <laughs> Because there are literally 20,000 
different ways you can set this insane pedal, I photographed the sounds that I spent time getting. So I'm just gonna look up the photograph of the, the next setting I've chosen, which is, it takes a fat, dirty kind of T-type guitar like the SMR3 Pro Modern, and it turns it into Johnny, Hel Johnny Highland on steroids. It's a sick lead sound and makes you want to be a great country player, which I'm not, but it's a great sound. Check it out, it cuts through like a hot knife through hot knives. Without the fuzz rocious, feed me. If I add more of the gain from the amplifier, it takes you from just a nice, thick, distorted gain for like rocky rhythm into an absolutely cutting, almost kind of Brian Mayish type lead sound. So here's without. <laughs> There you go guys, hope you enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. Uh, this is definitely going to feature on my pedal board from now on. And um, I've got something else to open up that a friend of mine just sent me which is really exciting. And uh, I can't wait to try. So I'll show you that next time. Take it easy. Chap us out. Oh hey, I'm just helping Rob to help him review. <laughs> How would you say? Fuzz And now we see Rob Chapman and Hannah Bolton in their natural habitat. Fuzz ratio. Sending up the lights, ready to film. We watch these two Homo sapiens do they thang. <laughs> Like super real. So, good. Reality is a good thing, although it is an abstract construct. Really, it's a good, it's a good projection. The simulation is fairly what adequate. Is real?